Aloha, YouTube. This is the Elon Marley podcast, hosted by your boy, Crypto Roots, and everything currency. What's going on, brother? What's good with you, brother? How's it going? Man, I'm telling you, I'm smoking a fat one with some hash right now. Oh, you know what I'm nice, saying? nice, nice. Yeah, I just got done. I just got done right before this. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I don't, I, from my, you know, we may not, weed has a different effect on everybody. And I, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's the truth. True. But when I'm telling you, weed is like my, my superpower, man. Like I just learn and I study. And so weed to me makes you more of who, who you really are. If you're a lazy person, you're just going to be a super lazy person. But if you're ambitious, creative, weed's just going to re- keep pushing you. So it's, it's my, it's my medicine. It's my medicine. Yeah, definitely. We, no, definitely. Yeah, I, that's exactly how I feel about it. a lot of people just, Hey, yeah. Uh, you know, it makes people lazy, this and that. Nah, 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 nah. Man, it depends on what you want to do because it will make you lock in and focus if that's what you want to do. You exactly. I mean? Exactly. So I, my audience is, I can tell, some of them are so confused, right? Because you got to do with dreadlocks that's like outdoing them in financial information. And these people are all uh, clean cut, business dressed people, right? And here they are, like, you know, secretly uh, subs- or shadow subscribing to my channel. I still got people, sh- you know, sh- you heard of shadow subscribing or something? Like, when people don't show uh, who they're subscribed to, but they, they subscribe to you, but you don't see it. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, you can do that. You can hide your subscriptions. Why would so you, you get a bunch of people low key following you, but they'll be your haters. So, but you, they won't show up as your subscriber. Why would I follow somebody that I don't want to follow? That's I don't crazy, know, man. That's some crazy So many ass. insecurities. People have so many insecurities. <laughs> you know, like, I don't yeah. want you to know I'm following you, right? That's like crazy. Enemies, stalkers, like, embarrassed people, like, you know? Maybe so, they're, trying to, they're trying to steal your content. I, you know what? I wish someone would. I wish someone would. Why? Because I'm going to call them out so goddamn fucking fast. And it's different. <laughs> Like when it comes to metaphysical shit or health shit, or you can kind of copy a bunch of people, kind of get away with it. But when it comes to decentralized uh, information and technology, uh, you're gonna get called out real fast if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like it's it's black or white, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I don't really care, man. If if they want to copy me, go ahead, man. Just make sure you're giving the right information. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't uh don't try to shit on your boy. Like if if you're gonna copy me, go ahead. Just don't be lying to folks and. Don't be selling them a dream and sending them all this false info. That's that's what I care about. They can, go ahead, man. Y'all can bite off all my shit. Just, you know, give me my credit. Let me know. Let them know who put you on. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you bite my shit. I'm headhunting. It's on site. <laughs> it's on site. You bite my shit. Ah, uh, you Why? worry. For anybody worry. who makes a goddamn fucking meme out of me, I'm hunting you down. Oh, sick. Don't you dare make I'm, a fucking me. Just kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised people I'm haven't made memes with me. Yeah, I'm way too innovative to care, bro. Like, okay, you want to bite me, bro? I'm finna show you guys something different. Yeah, um, and also, you know, and that makes me, at the end of the day, I'm, I know I'm miles ahead of people, and that's no, no, not much ego involved. Uh, so, you know, I, I could take a joke. I, I've been laughed at. I've been made fun of. I've had my 15 minutes of internet embarrassment. Like, I couldn't believe how embarrassed I was by thousands of people uh, yeah. for coming out and telling my truth about my experience but those same people are the ones subscribing to my channel like those <laughs> some of those people apologize for, for making fun of me yeah and like sure. laughing at me like and then so you got all these people who like were laughing and pointing fingers at me now looking for me for financial information right so it's crazy how fast shit changes so be careful out there you know don't you know it, you don't know what type of financial situation you might find yourself in uh and it happens fast you know, you you make making five six figures. You looking good next month. It's all bad. It's yep. all bad, yeah. right? Look at coronavirus. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shut down a whole bunch of stuff for a lot of people. That shut down a lot of shit for me, to be honest with you. Like I was, man, it, business was bubbling, and then it was like, whoop, no more events. You know, no more you events know, at all. And, so and that took away my whole business. And there's a bunch of videographers, photographers just like me who oh yeah they just got oh, yeah. straight out of business and the here's in, in all honesty i have a weird conflict not a weird conflict but f- i was broke right like i for the last like couple years really maybe like four or five years just struggling in and out of jobs sleeping on the beach in and out and it's 
society was prospering. And I just felt so ashamed of myself, but I just knew I had to study and learn something, right? And then it's like soon as the coronavirus hit, my business just skyrocketed. Oh, yeah. And now I'm in a better financial situation I was when society was prospering. Society's not, so I'm weird like, yo, this is crazy how fast shit changes, but I wouldn't have a business if I didn't stay focused on it while I was broke. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, now I'm thing, able like to- you were, you were still- you were still prospering. You just weren't receiving the yes. benefits of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, I, yeah Spiritually, exactly. you were growing and yeah. you just hadn't yet got your reward for that. So, you know. That's... Yeah, I, I, and and I, I just knew it. That's one thing that kept me off the alcohol, that would kept me off hard drugs or hanging out with the wrong people was like, nah, nah, like it's going to be worth it. It's going to be good, right? Yeah. And I didn't even realize how much I knew. I didn't at all until I was thrown on the spot with thousands of people watching me on one of my mentors' channel. I didn't even know that I knew that much until it was like, yo, so you get spit that crypto game. Yeah. And I just started spitting it. And he was like, whoa, whoa. Uh, yo, you want to do another video? I spit some more games like, damn. All right, let's do another one. And he's like, damn, let's do a course. Like, and yeah. I'm like, yo, I can do like three court. And it was just, the dude was just blown away about how much I knew. And I didn't even know it. Uh, I didn't even fully realize it at the time. Right? Yeah, I think, so, I think that's a, that's a, that says a lot to what I've been saying a lot to people recently is like, we are early. Like you, yes. you don't really understand how much, like if you already watching this channel, you're kind of light years ahead of a lot of people already because Facts. they're, they're still wondering what the hell is Bitcoin? What is a blockchain? I don't get it. I don't understand it. They don't want to take the time to understand it. They, you know, they're just like, whatever. Anything yeah. with computers is too complicated, yet they spend their whole life on a computer. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, they just, it's not that it's, they don't get the computer part. Like, they understand how to use Venmo and all this stuff. But when you start trying to explain to them why they should use it or why it's important or why it's going to be the next big thing or why it's valuable yeah why it's valuable like why it's going to be big in the future that's when they say like mm, uh, all right and, yeah you know how, how about i just give you money and you do it for me and i'm like nah i can't do that you know what i mean you gonna and, have to learn and, and what kills you know? me is some of the most intelligent people i respect like from different fields and then they don't like crypto or against crypto and it just blows my mind like dude you are so intelligent how can you not get or understand or appreciate crypto or even own any like it just blow it you you don't know you the first thing the you. first thing that pops into my head is bitcoin maxis <laughs> who how do you know about you know about crypto when you don't know about crypto so it's like if you have people in crypto who don't want to learn about DeFi or they don't want to learn about more than bitcoin or they don't want to learn about more than xrp like just imagine the rest of the world. So that's why I always tell people like, we're super early, you know? And, and here's a few tips. Here's a few tips when it comes to leveling up your game and studying your game. I, I be teaching, I've been coaching my mentorship, man. I go in, I go hard. And about a month or two later, uh, my mentees feel like, yo, like they, they still don't get it. They, I'm like, yo, you are ahead of the game. You got a meta mask. You know about private keys. You use Uniswap, da da da. You staking, you like, you farming, like, and they don't even realize that they are that. And they're like, you know what? A few months ago, I wasn't before I talked to you, Roots. You're right. I'm actually way ahead. Yeah. And here's one of the tips that you know you're ahead. Here's one of the tips the, the type of questions get deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. So you may not feel like you're progressing, but the type of questions you ask, you may not know what a variable was, but now you're asking what an algorithm is. You, and you have to like look back and you realize, yo, I'm asking deeper and deeper and more complicated questions. I must be learning. And it kind of kicks in. You're like, yeah, you know what? I am learning what a blockchain is and da da da. It, yeah, it's about yeah, the questions you, you ask. So it's yeah, level. for sure. It's all, it's definitely all about that. Like you gotta, and you know, the problem is people don't see it in the in the pocketbook right away they go oh man i was yeah i thought i was gonna yeah. make some money right away or something yeah. like that but like trust me man like over time it pays off you know what i'm saying yeah. everybody who went to sleep in the bear market is waking back up like what what happened well what's comp it what's ave what's uh yeah bro it changed to lend you know what i'm saying yeah. like there's liquidity I, I, for me now like there's you know so i just made a video called opportunity costs falling asleep on this crypto game right? Falling asleep on the game, you lost all, you missed out on all those opportunities, you, you know? Yeah. So you got stuck in Bitcoin and then you turned away, right? And then you like thought, and then you thought you were ahead of the game, wake up to realize you're behind the game. Right. 
right? And right. one more tip, when it comes to learning, especially complicated